assalamu alaikum so today's topic of discussion is fisher's ideal index uh, in previous lecture we have learned about the uh, weighted and unweighted index uh, unweighted index includes a simple uh, average price index and simple aggregate price index so these two indexes have a one main difference whereas the uh, simple average price index obtain the same value for the index regardless of the units of measurement on the other hand uh, simple aggregate price index is highly influenced by the uh, units of measurement so the other uh, index type was the weighted price index weighted price index includes the lespers and bash method of uh, calculating the uh, price indexes so less pairs uh, use the base pair weights on the other hand bash use the grantier weights so and these two methods are used as alternatives of each other and these two methods have their own advantages and disadvantages where the less pair reflects the uh, less pair does not reflect the buying behavior on the other hand bash is reflects the buying behavior or buying patterns uh, fisher ideal index basically is developed to offset the shortcoming of uh, these two methods where uh, these two methods are very highly sensitive or overweights those goods uh, whose prices increases or decreases and that point is mentioned over here so if you can read the first point less pair index tends to overweight the goods whose prices have increased peshi's index on the other hand tends to overweight the goods whose prices have gone down so this shortcoming basically offset by the fisher ideal index fisher ideal index was developed in 1922 by uh, Ivering Fisher, and it is basically the geometric mean of less pairs and Pesci's indexes. So this is the geometric means formula. We took the uh, product of two methods and under root of uh, that product, so we will get the Fisher's ideal index. So moving further. So here we have the data for uh, Fisher Ideal Index. Determine the Fisher Ideal Index for this data. Uh, price and quantities for food items in 1995 and 2005 are given. So 1995 is basically the base year. We can say the why not. Or these prices are given for the current year. So it so one difference between the unweighted and weighted index. Unweighted index uh, index numbers are um, ignores ignores the relative uh, price importance. On the other hand, weighted index are considered the goods relative importance. So when we calculate the Fisher ideal index for less pairs and peshes. For the uh, less pairs formula, we have summation of PT, which is the price of current year, and QT, Q0, which is the quantity of base year, divided by summation of P0 into Q0. So this is the formula where we can uh, compute the less pairs index. So here I will write the uh, formula for Pesci's index, which is summation of price of current year and the quantity of current year divided by summation of price of base year and quantity of base year uh, current year so 
so you can see we have the weights for base year and front year for these two formulas so this is the formula for species index so how we can find out these uh, expressions we will multiply p naught and q naught in the next column p naught and sorry pt and q naught for numerator and for the denominator we will multiply p naught and q naught So for the P naught and Q naught, we will use the data of 1995 for the quantity and for the price, we will use this. So we will multiply these two values and then we will get the value over here. When we will uh, sum up all these value we will get the numerator expression which is summation of pt into q naught p naught and q naught so here is the p naught and q naught when we will add up uh, these values we will get the summation of p naught and q naught so So when we calculate the numerator, we will multiply PT and Q naught. So the uh, value for PT was this 2005 and Q naught is the quantity of this year. So we will multiply these two columns and here we will get some values and at the end we will take the sum up for summation of these values that will be summation of pt into q naught so this is the method we can calculate the less pairs index and we will get the value of this and this is the same method we will follow uh, for the pesci's index it's uh, just simple multiplication of uh, these two columns so we just need to consider that, that which weight is going to use for the particular index method. So moving on to the next slide. So the next slide is about the uh, value index. Value index basically involves the uh, quantities and the prices uh, and measure the change between them. So a value index such as the index of department store sales need the original base year prices and original base year quantities the present year prices and the present year quantities for its construction. So it's just simply multiply the present year price and quantities and base year price and quantities and uh, add up all these values for the uh, present year price and uh, quantities and uh, base year price and quantities and divided and divided by these two expressions and multiply by 100 so we will get the value index so which measures the changes in both price and quantities involved so this is a simple uh, price index so here is the formula for the uh, calculation for the value index the prices and quantities of sold at Velasca clothing emporium for various item of april for may 2000 and may 2005 so the data is given for the base period which is p naught and q naught and this is the uh, data for current year that is 2005 so we will multiply these two quantities and uh, prices for base year then we will multiply these two uh, present year quantities and prices and after multiplying these 
two uh, values we will get the p not into q not at this point and we will get the values here here we will multiply pt and qt so we will get the values here after summing up these values we will get the answer for this expression So moving on to the next slide. So here we put the value or insert the values in the formula and multiply by 100 and we will get the value index. So this is how we can calculate value index for a department store. So this is the consumer price index, the most important one. Uh, this price index basically used to track the inflation. Inflation uh, is uh, defined as the increase in prices. So what does it reports? This interface is showing basically the monthly index of the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. It describes the changes in price from one period to another for a market basket of goods and services. So it basically tracks the uh, changes in prices and uh, price is uh, price can be changed by the influence of inflation. So moving further, we will study this index in uh, coming slides. So for this time, it's just an introduction for the consumer price index. It's just simply the changes in the prices from one period to another period for a market a basket of goods and services. So this is the pr producer price index. Producer price index uh, is can also uh, called uh, wholesale price index. And it started in 1890 and uh, also published in US Bureau of Labor Statistics. So these indexes are also functional in Pakistan as well. So it reflects the prices of over 3,400 commodities. The data is a given for the uh, year 1995 to 2005. And this is the monthly data for the producer's price index. And it is the less pairs type of index. So uh, the little introduction is given in your book. So if you would like to uh, read the details on these indexes, uh, you can use another source uh, like internet. So moving on to the next slide. So it is the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Dow Jones Industrial Ex uh, Index is basically index for the uh, stock prices. But if we can uh, say uh, it is an indicator rather than an index, that is uh, more appropriate for the uh, for this two zone industrial index because uh, it's tracks the uh, events occurred in the market because events really uh, influence the uh, stock prices and there are some events discussed in the uh, Dow Jones industrial average heading so there are stock splits, mergers, and stock being added or dropped. So these events actually influence the value of stocks. And these are the finance terminologies. So I'll uh, give you a little introduction for these. Stock split is basically when uh, one stock is divided into two stocks. Merger where the companies uh, use their abilities uh, for a single project like Sony Ericsson. Sony is one company and Ericsson is the second one. So these two companies work together and develop a colored L LCD phone and stock being added or dropped when a company issued more equity in the market or repurchase the equity from the market. So all these events put their effect on the uh, stock values. 
so when that changes occur adjustment are made in the denominator used by the used with the average so it simply uh, average out the stocks and divided by uh, the number of observations but when these events happen so those adjustments are made in the denominator of the uh, industrial average so moving on to the next slide so here is the dow jones industrial average indices us market indices so there are two other uh, indexes are shown here nasdaq and s&p 500 which is the standard and poor uh, 500 composite so the change is mentioned over here so if you would like to uh, study regarding the stock market index i would recommend you to uh, learn about these pakistan stock market indices uh, which includes 30 index and 100 index and i'm planning to give you an assignment on that topic as well so for now we are moving towards to the uh, next slide so what are the cpi uses cpi is the consumer price index which we have discussed in a previous slide so it follows the consumer to determine the effect of price increases on their purchasing power if the price increase so the purchasing power will be decrease it it is a yardstick for revising wages pensions and alimony uh, payments etc so we can measure the uh, change between uh, front year and previous years uh, changes in prices so it is an economic indicator of the rate of inflation so it can measure the inflation rate or tracks the inflation rate it computes real income the real income is is equal to money income divided by cpi into 100 so uh, money income basically is the nominal income nominal income nominal income is uh, unadjusted for the inflation so the inflation factor is involved in the nominal income but real income is the adjusted for inflation and inflation effect is not considered in the uh, real income so that's why we can uh, easily uh, compare the current year and previous year uh, le price levels so moving on to the next slide so here are some important formulas to com uh, compute the real income uh, and then using an index as a deflator. CPI is also called as an deflator. So deflated sale, actual sale uh, divided by an appropriate index. So what, uh, which index is the appropriate for, the, uh, for this uh, formula? So there will be the producer uh, price index because it's relevant to the sales using an index to find the purchasing power so cpi helps us to find out the purchasing power that how many uh, goods and services a consumer can afford for a one dollar so we can find out this purchasing for a power of the dollar by using cpi as a deflator then multiply by 100 so we can find out the how we can uh, we can compare the uh, level of prices or a customer can uh, maintain its living standard in a current year so these are some formulas for the cpi uses uh, so this chapter is end here in next chapter we will study the time series model and other concepts thank you so much assalamu alaikum